advance um, what how those elements are actually arranged in your array. So it's not to just return it as a one dimensional list. Okay, so in this final part of the first unit on NumPy operations, just going to talk about some of the other basic operations that you can go and do with uh, NumPy arrays. So first of all, if you have a two-dimensional array, then um, as we said, that's always given as rows by columns. If you uh, need to uh, look at it turned around to 90 degrees, then you want it to transpose. Um, this is something that's covered for lead students in the Maths 3 module um, when you're dealing with matrix um, manipulations. Uh, and so uh, if we start off with my array like that, and I take its transpose, then I simply just swap the, the rows and the columns around. Um, and so it goes from being five rows by 10 columns to being 10 rows by five columns. Um, you can also reshape an array. So um, given an array of uh, a total of n elements, um, you can change its shape so that um, it goes from, say, um, in our case of, of um, there's a total of 50 elements. So obviously that could be like five rows by 10 columns or 10 rows by five columns, but it could also be um, two rows of 25 columns, for example. Um, so as long as we don't change the size of the array doing this, you can reshape it however you like. So in this case, I say the my array dot reshape and then give it as a tuple, the number of rows and um, uh, columns that I wanted to have. So in this case, two by 25. Uh, then uh, other things you might want to go and do, quite often you might want to go and build an array up, um, build a two dimensional array up by sticking together rows and columns. So we've got two functions, row stack and column stack that will each go and take a, um, a sequence, a list or a tuple of, of um, arrays, and it will stack them up either by their um, stacking them row by row by row. Of course, that only works if they've got the same number of columns or stacking them up by columns. Um, again, that only works as they've got the same number of rows uh, to build the arrays up. So um, if I define um, three arrays here, so we're going to define one which is um, a block of three by four, then we'll buy, define another array which is um, a block of, um, sorry, four by five columns to start with, another one which is a block which is a single row of five columns, another one which is a single column of four elements, um, like so. Um, so remember with A2, although it's a row, because it's only got one dimension, it's always going to be printed out as though it's a single column, but it's got four elements, which is the important thing. So if I'm going to now stack um, uh, by the rows of A1 and the, um, uh, the, the elements from A2, then uh, from A2, then um, what I'm doing is I'm stacking um, A2 onto the bottom of the A1 array. And so I went from having um, a, um, a four by three to a um, four by four array. And the column stack, you can see it does the same. I just create a five by three, um, because I stick the, the elements of A2 on the end of the, um, of the array I had. And then the other thing you can do uh, more generally is numpy.append, um, and that can join uh, two arrays together. Um, and you can actually tell it whether you want to join them on the rows, the columns, or just stack the elements together. Um, so without specifying the um, uh, extra arguments, it will simply just stick um, the two rows together, the, the, two, the two arrays together. So in this case, I'm just sticking my array of four elements, my array of three elements together. 